This message is a call to all whose hour has come awake to love. But it is a lullaby to those who are still meant to sleep. Love is the star in our heart. Hello and welcome to Globetrotting with Gillespie. Yes, it's me, Dana Gillespie, back on the sofa in the Middle Eight Hotel here in Covent Garden, right in the centre of London. And I'm here, along with many other people, because there's a marvellous book launch to do with saving, saving our trees, the trees of Britain. And I have to lift up this book. There it is, so you know all about it. It's the portrait of the tree. Now, lots of famous people have got their favourite trees in here. Um, and I happen to be sitting next to somebody who's very famous herself, <laughs> as well as being very beautiful, oh. and um, <laughs> she has a tree. So I'd like you to meet Annabel Croft. Oh, it's lovely to meet you too. Yeah. Well, Thank of course, you. Annabel is really famous because of her tennis, and I have to say that I think you're one of the nicest and most oh. natural-sounding <laughs> interviewers on television. Oh, that's very kind of you. No, so I'm going to have to widen the door before we get out of here. <laughs> in a minute. No, but it's true because there's an art, and hmm. you speak naturally and from the heart. Oh, thank I personally you. think you should be on television much more. But well, anyway, thank you. that's another thing. <laughs> now, tell us about your favourite tree and why is it? Let's show it to yeah. everyone. Actually, it's a little bit cropped in this picture, but this is the Royal Oak from uh, Richmond Park. I live very close to Richmond yeah. Park, and I pretty much go in there almost every single day. I don't know if you know it, but it I is... don't know this tree. No, I must say. Well, it it's then. it's one of I think it is the oldest tree in the park. It's maybe seven hundred and fifty years old. That's what this is. Something King Charles. I can't even read. Haven't well, got my there's glasses. a lot of history with it, and it's now cordoned off around it because they're trying to protect it. But I just love running past that tree in Richmond Park. It is very majestic, and it changes obviously as every tree does in different sort of lights and different. Uh, you know, times of the world, uh, of the year, but it is so beautiful. It is, it's an amazing tree. Um, do you, that means you jog every day? I, well, I You're try. A I'm a jogger or a walker, actually. I'm now, as I'm getting older, I'm deciding that actually walking might be better for you than running. How are your knees and things? Are they um, all right? Because, I mean, tennis. Yeah, it's a really good point. Actually, my hips were getting a little bit sore from doing too much running, so I try and kind of balance it with some yoga, some walking and some jogging as well, but mainly I jog with my mates and then I actually then just fun. enjoy the chat and the coffee afterwards. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much why I go, I think. Oh, well, actually, it's important to have your mates do these yeah. things. My thing is swimming. I ah, swim every morning yes, yeah, yeah. because it's low impact and I've got yes, two new much knees. Much better idea. I think I need to get a bit into that. You don't want to have a knee operation only because no. it's really painful no, with putting I a can new imagine. knee in. No, exactly. No, but I now, don't. I, you know, how do you know Adrian, who actually was the putting together and photographer of this wonderful book. Um, Where did you... Adrian Houston and I go back a very long way. I probably met him when I was about 19 or 20. Yeah. And we did some pictures together way, way back. And we just got along really well. And it's one of those friendships that's just lasted through a, a long time. So here I am in my mid 50s now and um, still in touch with Adrian, still having the odd picture taken by him. And I just think he's really, really talented at what he yeah. does. So, lovely person, and I think this book is, is absolutely beautiful. Do you still play tennis? Very badly, um, <laughs> but I'm playing tomorrow morning at the All England Club at Wimbledon, and I just play with my friends now. I just really, I love playing tennis away from everybody when yeah. nobody's really watching. Uh, just go out there, enjoy, almost like I was when I was a child, when I used to hit a tennis ball, just that feeling of freedom, that lovely feeling of hitting a, hitting a ball, out in the fresh air and it is a wonderful sport it's a very beautiful sport mm. but there's when you play it professionally there's a lot of pressure attached to it yeah and did I didn't you, always enjoy that did you go into it thinking you wanted to be the best or did um, you yes I think when I look back to my childhood and picking up a, a racket and then becoming national champion in Great Britain um, I think I just had dreams of winning Wimbledon and you know, I didn't think about anything else so I think suddenly as you as life went on and it kind of snowballed a little bit and then I ended up on the on the tour and you are living your life going round and round the globe out of a suitcase um, but that is it your whole life is dedicated to a, a gladiatorial conflict with an opposition and it's 
it's it is pretty ruthless and cutthroat but it is a beautiful sport but there was a time after about seven years where i thought mm, yeah i've i've had enough of this but you still kept in touch with it because we yes. see you as i said not enough on oh. our screens <laughs> well i mean i i was british junior water ski champion for four years but amazing in the 60s, wow a lot of balance on that well yeah terrible on the knees yes. though and you pay the price the shoulders and everything sort of aches now but while we were, before we sat down, or as we sat down here, you were telling me, but I, not, I don't know anything about what you were saying is called the paddle. Please educate yes. me. What the hell is the paddle? Paddle. Well, paddle oh, is... Oh, it's called paddle, paddle. not yes. the paddle. No, it's right. just paddle. Correct it's a, me. a sort of a shorter version of tennis, yeah. and it's a little bit easier to play. So I'm an ambassador yeah. for a company called Game for Paddle. Um, and paddle is... Play it's very, very popular in Spain and a lot of European countries, and it's one of the fastest growing sports in the UK. But not um, in the Olympics yet. Not in but, the Olympics but, yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if it did end up there, because if you watch I'm very new to it and yeah. I'm learning myself so it's a little bit of a cross between tennis but it sometimes comes off the back wall like squash so you have to get used to the ball coming so sort of, you know ricocheting off the back wall. You're not on an open court like because you obviously need a yeah it has a, a, a it has a little bit of sides to the court it More has like a back real, real tennis? glass it's a little bit like real tennis as well it's played with a tennis ball and then a sort of a paddle bat but it's a little a... bit easier. So serving, you don't have to serve over. Uh, you just, just like... bounce and hit, right. and then you want to get to the net and volley quite a bit. So um, Did it's you fun. have singles we or doubles? Play. Single... <laughs> I doubles, know. all doubles, which makes it very social. Oh, it's only doubles? Yes, only doubles. And anybody can play. And actually, I've only myself played probably about eight or nine times, and I'm keen to play more. But some of the people that I've introduced to it who didn't particularly enjoy tennis but then tried the paddle and they picked it up really, really quickly. And it's it's quite fast-paced. I think you, you'd enjoy it. Uh, well, how... F OK, you hold the paddle here. How far away is it? How big is the paddle? It's as big it, as that? It's about that big. <laughs> So oh, OK, like... <laughs> because I always found with tennis, and it's nice to go when I was at school to, to Queen's, um, you had that bit, but so you've got to think further, further away, away from your bottle, yeah. body. The paddle is closer It's shorter to you. and closer, and it's a little bit neater, so when you're at the net, everything is short and sharp, and you sweat a lot more. Uh -huh. You get a, more of a workout, actually. It's very oh, dynamic in terms of the movement. That'll, so it's, um, that'll hook a lot more, of people. Yeah, it's more agility is required. And actually, I find myself, because I do try and play at least once a week of tennis, but when I play paddle, I'm stressing, you know, the heart rate gets up much quicker and I sweat way more. So what about the scoring? How does that work? Exactly the same as tennis. Oh, it's really? Exactly the same. Yeah, it's really fun. I have to say, I'm kind of a little bit hooked, actually. Oh, good. I would like to play more and I'd like to introduce more people to it because I think it's a really, it's kind of a... A, a diversion off from tennis, but it's it's a little bit easier to it to, to get hold of. I if you're the ambassadress for it, how are you going to get it across to people? Because I'm my ignorance, I'd never even heard no, of it. I know. So. Well, I think we're trying to build its um, profile in the UK, yeah. and also I know they're taking it to like Australia and different countries. But it's already extremely popular in France and in Spain and a lot of other European countries. So I don't think it takes much. Um, you know, uh, advertising over there, it's already very popular. Will you go to any of these places or are you kind of um, just ambassadressing if yeah, one could at the moment from here? I'm kind of doing it here and I'm happy to sort of help grow the sport over here. But um, I'm always up for anybody just getting out there and, and playing sport and having fun and being social and not having... I think a lot of people always ask me about tennis and, you know, introducing kids to tennis and then talking about great, great champions. Yeah. And I always say, well, not every person picks up a paintbrush and wants to be Picasso. And I'm sure you feel the same yeah. way about music. Yeah. Not everyone can be like you when they pick up a microphone, but you can still have fun trying to sing or to paint or to yeah. play tennis. So it's kind of encouraging people to get out there and... And movement is so important, not exactly. to be sitting like blobs and couch potatoes. Absolutely, and getting off our phones and devices and just getting, getting out there. Getting off our arses. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that too. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the, if I see, you know, more children just doing that, I feel, yeah. go out and do something, breathe some fresh air. Exactly. And, uh, it is, it's so worrying, isn't it, how much uh, of life has changed from, you know, one of the things I talked about with the tree is nature and getting out into nature as much as possible and going for a run or doing sport in the park. But so much of us is now inside on a device and 
Hopefully sure not your children. Healthy. You've got three well, children, three haven't you? Three grown-up kids now, but hopefully not. I, I hope that they've learnt from watching their parents get out and go for a run or play tennis. And we do do things as a family, but you're right. I just... You don't want them on the devices too long. No. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you, Annabelle, for coming Delicious. in and telling us about thank your you favourite tree. <laughs> because, of course, this whole thing is really to raise awareness of how important trees are. I think, I think people yeah. don't think no, about don't, these yeah. We need oxygen from the trees. Yeah, without, without yeah. those trees, we'll all be, yes. um, we'll all be yeah. Under, yeah. The, yeah, exactly. under, the, under the sod or the earth. Um, yeah. So thank you for coming Pleasure. on thank Globe you Trotting with me. Gillespie. And thank you. watch it when it comes out. I will definitely and, do that. Um, thank you. See you next time on Globe Trotting with Gillespie. To the loop. Love is the net in which your heart.